Hi. <laughs> well, I grew up in this really nice little country town. I'm, I'm here for a job interview. Yeah, I think I've got what it takes to be famous. <laughs> no, anyway, welcome to the channel. Today we have I from 86 Fighters bringing her little S15 in for a little dyno run. We've got Joel from Seas Garage bringing his believe it or not, front wheel drive in 15 Pulsar. And we have another Sylvia. It turns out we do a lot of those these days. Um, we've got Stan from Lucky G's bringing in his little, uh, I think it's a 180 for a dyno and a health check. So enjoy. On the hops, change the tires in this museum piece. Old JDM history. Cars <laughs> literally been parked around the world, halfway around the world. Very expensive wheel. <laughs> uh, I have my drift car that was imported from Japan to full send on the dyno. That's pretty much it. Check it, make sure it's all good. Here you go, I. I have 15 Goretto. Goretto! So as soon as I got on throttle, uh, basically it was just dropping cylinder and ball misfiring, so I don't know what cylinder it is, so I'm going to pull the plugs, just check the condition. Um, I just spoke to I, she said that the fuel in it is... Uh, Does anyone remember the old high octane movie? If there's one thing they didn't add to the car, gas. No, it's got gas, it's it was just it's a year, a year old. And I'm going to check the plugs because she can't remember when I've done last. And as soon as I get on throttle, just misses. Pierce is going to start needing some new content because <laughs> it's pretty much three episodes of me changing the spark plugs. Got mystery plugs. We've got two HKS, an NGK, and what do we got here? Another NGK. So we got looks like two iridium plugs, two NGK plugs. They both look worn. Well, all of them look worn. So how about we put a fresh set? I said I smell darts. <laughs> Guess they must be close. They all look like they've been in there for a while as well. There is a potential that they're like older than Kelly is. It's just a baby. You got new plugs? Is that a mystery plug? Huh? We had mystery plugs. Oh. We had two HKSM 40 plugs. Huh. And two BKR 5E plugs. Why? I don't know. Why? And they're only fives, so they're like hot as. Gap down to 0.7. Yeah. Um, it's got some fresh gas, and I've put some more clean booster in it as well, just to kind of lift up the fuel that was on there, because I see it's like a year old. Yeah. Because, yeah, as soon as I got on, 
for the gas, yeah. gave it a bit of load, it was just doing typical Nissan, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this cylinder's dropping out. Which is actually behind you, so you're gonna get her in the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, this car's come all the way from Japan, and this year actually used to be I's little competition car. So uh, Keske has been doing a little bit of maintenance on it, and she's gonna go driving for the first time in almost a decade. <laughs> so um, we thought we'd get it on the dyno and give it a check. Um, apparently, Keske changed everything but the spark plugs. Emotional, damn it! and <laughs> I'll let him give you a, a rundown on the car. Yeah, so it's, uh, it was built in like the early 2000s and she's pretty much kept it the, the, the way it is the, the whole time. So it's TD06 L2, eight centimeter rear housing, a really, really cracked trust stainless steel manifold <laughs> like they all do uh, with bird shit welds, which is great. But she's actually overhauled the motor by herself in Japan and she's obviously done a good job because it's done pretty well on the dyno today. So I didn't even see what it made. Yeah, it made on high boost, which is about 1.6 to 1.5. It made 260, 270 kilowatt. Oh no, 250 kilowatt. And then on low boost, which is about 1.2 to 1, and made 200. So that's more than enough for her. We're still running 235 radials on the rear. It's been that long that she needs probably some low grip on the rear to, to actually go drive, so it'll be good. But yeah, she's had it for like 15 years and competed in D1 Ladies League in it back in the day and and bits and pieces. So it's a really, you know, it, it's a very sentimental car for her. So it's cool to get it here at Talk Performance on the dyno and just make sure it's, a, it's healthy, which it is, which is great. And uh, hopefully they have some fun on Sunday. Change the oil. One of the reasons why we didn't check the pugs <laughs> <laughs> is because the guy that took care of it for us said he changed the plugs. So we didn't check. He did. Them. He changed two of them. Yeah, he changed two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've uh, got OG Drifter Joel from Seas Garage. <laughs> Um, he's given up drifting and he's deciding to uh, have a go at some grip racing. So, <laughs> what have you brought me? Pretty much, we haven't got a car from Pick Apart. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little N15 Pulsar. I want to try some grip stuff. I guess as you get older, you're just like, that feels, I don't know, kind of draws you into it. And 
these are like at the bottom of the value at the moment. They're probably like, you can get, I got this for about five grand and it's got a 20 VE in one can, like super basic setup, but like there's no other car you can buy for five grand that really would even be fun on the track, I feel like. So yeah. it's in that Nissan, you know, it's got SRs, you know, we, we love SRs. So I just thought rather than going out and trying to buy like an expensive Type R or something, just this would be a good starting point to see if I even like not drifting, you know, so they go from there. Yeah. Cool. So we're just running it up today, making sure it's all healthy. Got it in, um, what was it this Sunday, eh? Yeah. Uh, Hampton, we've got grip racing and drifting. Uh, so just double checking everything. This is car number two today that we're checking for that day. So we've already had I Silvia on the dyno. So we've got this, and then we have Stan from Lucky G's. He's got his Silvia to go on after this. So um, yeah, so let's just see how this one goes and make sure it's all safe and Cheers, bro. Thanks, bro. we can send it. good it did rev past what I thought it would so I kind of backed out of it and kind of went to 9,000 rpm almost 9k which I would say someone's done a tune in it yeah yeah it's got a chip or something like that so 9 uh, grand seems a little bit much for a stock engine pretty flat around that 0.89 0.9 lambda so it's it's kind of safe um, me personally, I would generally richen it up at the tail end just for a bit of cylinder cooling, which I do with pretty much every car, but that's just me. Um, that's pretty natural on what I would see from an endurance car, so if you actually looked at a Porsche, um, you know, 24 hour endurance car, they run pretty much those AFRs, so it's good for a good thrash, just as long as you keep an eye on your coolant temps and your oil temps and all that, that's fine. The, yeah, power wise, 139 wheel. Yeah, it's pretty respectable. It's no Honda. 
<laughs> not bad for five grand, I think. Yeah, it's not bad for five grand, you know. So, no, it's good. Um, so, yeah, send it. Cool. Thanks yeah. so much for doing that. We're going to have fun Sunday. Sponsored by Lucky G's. <laughs> 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 I think I should go the other way around. Lucky G should be sponsored by Footprint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have, and he said he doesn't want to be on camera, but he's right over there. <laughs> Stand the man from Lucky G's, as you can see down the side of the car. It's our favorite burger place. If you haven't been there yet, you need to go and check that out. We have his little skitter. Normal SR stuff, stuck but I'm in Garrett 3071R and some lovely VAG coils, which we've as you would have seen as seen on Kesko's car. Stands um, for Volkswagen Audi Group, not what you think. <laughs> Dad doesn't like badges anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, we've got this car back for a second time. It had a little bit of a fueling issue, so uh, we're just going to check it on the dyno now. <laughs> we're having a track day later on, which you'll see in an episode or this episode I don't really know with the editing we are hoping to get a result for him today and make sure it makes some power and it's all safe and so Stan can go skidding and then one, uh, once it's all finished then hopefully we'll get some free burgers <laughs> <laughs> done the first initial run it was leaning out at the top but looking at the map it was pretty much you can just tell by looking at the map that it was doing that so uh, first run today as you can say it started leaning off uh, I made one tweak to the map just to see what I do nice and flat uh, which is pretty much 0 0.77 0 0.78 so what I'm working on is just trying to get that to hold flat and just rich enough at the end down to about 0.75 just on the tail end and yeah, just dang to take the car away and go drifting in it. So yeah, that's all I'm working on now. Was there, was there a low boost, high boost switch in this car? There or was one, but nah. So it's just all together on that? Yeah. We yeah. can dial it back a little bit, Nick. Yeah, do, do you want me to just go to the stop block at like 400 volts? Yeah. 
maybe not even at the wheels and probably at the foot. Are you sure? Yeah, I really see what I'm hearing. But... So just a cap on Stan's car, ran it up, was leaning a little bit. We fixed the issue with the actual really, really lean mixture, because uh, last time I was here we tried to put more fuel in it, made no difference. Uh, it was still a little bit on the lean side, put more fuel in it, made a difference. We got the fuel mixtures right at about 1.3 bar. Bit concerned, it was making about 290 at the wheel, so Stan decided to just lower the boost a little bit, so he dropped it down to 1.1, 1.2 bar, uh, which is taking about 20 kilowatts out of it, which is just on the safe side. Yeah, we're happy with the results, nice and smooth. Um, had to play around with the PID control on the um, boost control, because uh, we are running closed loop and it was oscillating a bit and overshooting, so uh, we think maybe the wastegate spring's just getting a bit tired, so it just needed a little bit more finesse on the, the PID control, but that's all good. And uh, yeah, so 270 wheel, 271, so pretty respectable on that boost level, and yeah. So Stan can now go drifting and send it. Yeah, sick. Cheers, bro. No worries. You got burgers? Yeah, man. Sweet. Cool, let's go get feet. <laughs>